We are here with actor, singer, and dancer Titus Macon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Well, we're so excited to get to talk about The Rookie. You play Jackson West on the show, and it's returning for a third season. Yeah. So what can fans anticipate for the third season of the show? I mean, we, we're not we're not playing games. You know what I mean? It, it's, yeah. it's such a gift to be a part of the show, especially this season, because all the things that we we feel like need to be addressed are addressed yeah. this season. And you can imagine what I mean based on what's been going on with the news and yeah. a lot of racial injustice and, and police brutality. We're diving in like literally they're going for it. And I'm really proud of ABC for addressing the topics the way they are. So, yeah. Yeah, internally, you guys have made plans to address the topics of police brutality and the current political climate with the season. What has it been like to be able to use your craft and use this show to shed light on such an important issue? It's been awesome. I mean, that's what, that's what I always aspire to do as an artist. Mm -hmm. is like you want to be a part of something that you're, that you're connected to the story you're telling. And, you know, sometimes as actors, it's our job to just kind of show up and do what we're hired to do. It's a gift when you have a role in your, in your um, career that you really resonate with what you're talking about. And I would, it gives me an excuse to have the platform I would have chosen to have anyway. You know what I mean? And your role in specific, Jackson West is dubbed the most prepared rookie following in his father's footsteps to be a cop. Do you have any similarities to this role in real life? No. <laughs> not but uh, you know you're an actor no. so it's fine it's right. just, you don't have to <laughs> right I'm like complete opposite of the most prepared like I was horrible with school and studying and being all awesome like I'm complete 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 opposite although I will say what we do share is a work ethic I mean okay. you know we're both go-getters we both know what we want and we're not going to stop until we get it so that's about it. Those are all great qualities. You you really <laughs> buried the lead with that one, like saying no, I don't have any any qualities matching this character. Those are all amazing qualities that you both share. Well, I made him sound a little bit better because really, no, it's yeah. good. <laughs> oh, well, of course. <laughs> well, acting isn't the only medium where you use your platform to talk yeah. about our current political climate. You're also a music artist, mm -hmm. and your most recent song that you just released, "Pray for Him." Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's the background? behind that song yeah so you know how right now during the climate uh people have been doing that thing where they'll they'll post on instagram what they think where their head's at or they'll make a yeah. video they'll post on instagram and i was like as opposed to because people were asking me like hey titus how do you feel you playing a cop and well you're also just black in general like what is your experience what are you going through and i was like well i could make a video on instagram right along whatever those things are called I see, I don't even yeah so bad. Like a caption or yeah, a, thank you, thank you, thank you. a long caption. And I was like, you know what? How about I literally just put in a song and they can listen to the song. And I, and I feel like I could be more dynamic with my thoughts in a song because I'm not feeling just one thing. I'm feeling a lot of things. So I was like, it, it's in the instrumentation. It's in the, 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 the peaceful. If you, if you see the video, you can see like the, the even visuals the, are beautiful in the video i've seen yeah oh, yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you but you see in there like where i stand with things it's like i believe in a peaceful progression i also <laughs> believe that sometimes people when you push something too far it makes sense that people lash out is it justified all the time no but it's yeah. like we should come right back to peace it's like okay you can hear us roaring but also let's lead with by example you know what i mean so yeah and your style of music is kind of unique. Tell me about how you find your inspiration as an artist and what genre you would define your music as. I consider myself funk soul. I've heard so many other things, you know what I mean? Like I, on any, any time somebody tries to classify my sound, it's an, it's an honor. I'm like, whatever you hear, if right. it's something you would buy, it's a win. So I'm like, <laughs> call it what you want. But I consider myself funk soul and the reason is because all of my inspirations, like musically, are from another era, like Marvin Gaye and, and Al Green and others. There's a few today, uh, well, not today technically, but recent, AKA people like CeeLo or Pharrell, like I've, and Andre 3000 is a huge influence. So people that have always had funk or just throwback vintage elements in their sound, that's not just like typical R&B 
pop or, or R&B soul. So yeah, I would consider myself funk soul, to be honest, yeah. And since you are a man of so many different talents, acting, dancing, music, you've had a pretty diverse amount of projects that you've been in. You were in Glee, you were in an episode of Grey's Anatomy. What's been your favorite project thus far? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, just to put you on the spot, just a little bit. Right, I was like, which audience is watching this? <laughs> yeah, you're like... <laughs> uh, no, uh, and by the way, I hate this picture. I'm just noticing it. I was like, oh, I do not like this picture. Not at all. Jeez. Trust me, uh, <laughs> we're in my apartment right now. It is not a full set, so please... <laughs> Do not worry. <laughs> oh, but I'm halfway, halfway through everything I'm saying, I'm looking at a picture like this. You're focusing on it? Yeah, it's yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> uh, I would probably say there's two different answers. There's one that I've enjoyed the most for different reasons. So Glee, okay. Glee I enjoyed the most because of, I didn't know anybody in LA really at that point. And most, the majority of my friends to this day, and that was what, what nine, 10 years ago? Yeah. Uh, we're still friends. So I appreciate Glee because it created a community for me. Oh, there's so many things. Cause like, that's my favorite acting stuff. Like I did a oh. show called Path on Hulu and that was like really fun as an actor. Like it was like actors work, like you were doing an acting class. And then like this show, The Rookie is cool because I get to live out my little action sequences. I'm running and doing stuff. So they all kind of play a part, but Glee would probably be the overall answer because I feel like community is more important than all of that. Yeah. Like, I have loved ones in my life and Glee provided those. Yeah. It made a very big impact on your life's journey. So I respect that answer for sure. Yeah. You, of course, have been a lot of different diverse roles, but what would be your dream role to take on if you could be casted as anybody in anything? I really want, <laughs> for some reason, this is probably not a popular answer and people would be confused, but I love okay. period stuff. And by period, I mean, not like Marie Antoinette, but like, Okay. This is gonna be. This might be not be a popular answer, but I like stuff that takes place in like racial divide times. That's okay. Bizarre, I know, but I like the the weight of work because I love drama, like right. acting drama versus comedy, and the weight of work that people drop into. Like I just visualize like Lupita Nyong'o in Twelve Years a Slave, or like Kerry Washington and and Django. Like all these, they're just it's just meaty and it's it's just deep work. So. Probably something like that would be a dream role for me, which is bizarre because whoever wants to relive that era, but. Right. Something but like as that. an actor, it's something that would give you the opportunity to really dive deep into a character that has yeah. a lot of. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And especially because, and it's been a huge blessing and I wouldn't change it for anything, but I've been more on the TV side of things for a lot of my career. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's only so far you can go with certain networks, but like right. movies like that, you can. You can give it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, speaking of doing TV, doing movies, also dabbling into music and everything else, do you have any new projects you are working on that we maybe don't know about? Uh, on the acting side, no. We're just, you know, trying to stay COVID free and finish filming this season. But on the music side, tons actually has been going on, which is really cool. There's a lot of cool songs coming out in uh, the new year. And I'm excited about that. Yeah, a lot of new music. Awesome. Well, I'm so excited to see and to check that out. Mm. We love to end our interviews with three fun questions. Okay. So I will go ahead and roll right into those. Yeah. Right. If you were stuck on a deserted island, okay. what three items would you bring? Ooh, okay. Um, uh, what was a lighter? <laughs> okay. I'd bring a lighter. I'd bring a sleeping bag. It gets cold. Okay. Yes. And then I would also bring like a machete, something to cut down stuff with. Got it. Look, Got I, it. I wouldn't say a phone. It's like, I'm not going to have a signal out there. Right. No, no <laughs> point. I mean, a phone bill would just be ridiculous. Forget I'm, it. Right. I'm all like logical. I'm like, I'm going to need to cut stuff down. I'm going to need to start a fire. Yeah. This, this, these more. are like some very like primitive answers. <laughs> You're like fire, machete, but I no. respect it. I like it. Because I'm obsessed with Naked and Afraid. I don't know if you've ever seen yes. that show. But yeah, of course. Stuff. You need stuff. Yeah, yeah. 110%. Yeah. Next question. As a Hollywood heartthrob, fans are dying to know, are you single? <laughs> yes, I am. The answer is no, I... yes. So everyone watching, go ahead and head over to his social media. He is single and ready to mingle. Let him and know. My last question for you. Who was your childhood celebrity crush? 
Ooh, I had a few. I was one of those kids. I was like, she's gorgeous. Jeez, I really did have a few. All right, I'll do my, my three that I remember. Okay. The most. Hayden Panettiere was huge for me. Yes. I don't even know. I don't even, I think that, I don't know where that started. It might've been Heroes. I think Heroes got me with Hayden Panettiere. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, who, who else was it? Oh, Hayden Panettiere. Oh, there's this, there's this young lady named Jessica Parker Kennedy. And she was in okay. uh, Black Sales. I think the name of that show was, I don't know, Gorgeous Woman sweetheart ended up meeting her later in life and she's super that is so cool were you like freaking out sweating this is your moment yeah but the problem was my moment existed with her boyfriend because she was already Uh, i met both of them at the same time and i was like hey hey man (laughs) i'm Uh, so sorry we have to meet like this right all right and then the last one at age like eight (laughs) do you remember a movie called white chicks of course but who's your your celebrity crush on white chicks (laughs) So she was the newscaster. She was, okay. uh, she played Denise Porter. She was the one that one of the white chicks really liked and he pretended to be like the- Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 I was on the a, beach. Yeah, yeah, the beach. Yep, I was obsessed yeah. with her. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see season three of The Rookie and all the incredible works you're putting out with new music. Yeah, thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it.